this okay so we were looking at the points where you know seeing two perspectives one as a customer and a marketer so we covered most of the points and we were left with ability to go viral so that is one of the most uh, fantastic features this market has and it's not been seen in the traditional uh, media before maybe it has happened through word of mouth but not to the scale which has gone international so you you'd be seeing so many songs right now you know like it's picking up like that's happening in the west like uh, you know singers are coming up with just singles and albums which are going viral forget about albums just singles they're releasing singles and it's going uh, you know viral on youtube so many views billions of views and on spotify people get to hear that so a lot of applications of format format where it's being consumed if there's please let me So oh, yeah, uh, sorry, I had to just change the network. Am I audible now? Okay, someone has asked, where do we find the recordings? Uh, the recordings will be posted in your WhatsApp group. Uh, today's, I guess, uh, will be shared shortly. Or again, if not. Uh... Excuse me, sir. Yeah, please, please tell me. Sir, is there any possibility to schedule meeting on the Microsoft Teams? Uh, no, this would be better because I'll be able to, you know, share it, share the screen, and this is the more convenient yes, platform. Sir, all also, the online classes being done in uh, Microsoft Team, and uh, the procedure okay. is very simple. It's like uh, when the class get automatically recorded, and the recordings mm -hmm. comes in chat box there. That mm -hmm. would be very easy and precise to work for us. So. Sure, I'll just put it across to them, and I'll just let you know what's their uh, say about it. But for time Thank being, you. please, are you finding any issues in this? Yes, sir. The voice is not clear and uh, the app okay. is uh, very much, uh, this Are you using a like mobile or a laptop? Mobile, sir. Most of my friend uh, is ah. showing error. She's not able to log oh. in also. Okay, okay. No, if you're using a mobile, I think uh, you'll have to you know, plug in your earphones or headphones. For a laptop, I think it, it should be clear enough. Anyway, I'll just put it across and let you know what the thing. But for time being, just please get along with this. Any point of time you don't see the screen, uh, keep me posted on it. Okay, shall we go ahead? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So the last point was ability to go viral. Um, I was telling you about how the music channels are, you know, are I've shifted to albums to singles and I'm just sharing the entire screen now. So you'll be able to see the browser as well. One minute. Yeah. So we had this recent song. I think it's been there for a while and it's also still uh, trending out there. Yeah, most of you would be uh, would have grew to this as well for your uh, events at college and wherever you're partying. Badshah Jugnu. So just look at the views it has and the, the reach it has got. And he's a, he, see, there's a two examples here which I'm trying to bring up. One is Badshah and there's this other guy. I think his name is... And he's also been there for a while, this guy. He was just selling peanuts, yeah? And today he has a, you know, a, a song of his own, which is recorded by some record label. Maybe not a big one, but still, he has a video of his own. 
so Badshah might have created his own, uh, you know, uh, what do you say, platform quite earlier with uh, the earlier success of his other songs. But for someone like this person who had no clue that he would come so far, uh, imagine the platform it has given him and the recognition, not just here, not just in the his, uh, you know, the region he's from, but I'm sure in the entire world they're doing real stories and whatnot all formats they're using this song I th i'm sure by now there would have been uh, other viral videos and other uh, content as well but jugnu and all these songs are still running till the next one comes up so it's like a tidal wave you know people ride on it but if they're really good they'll be able to catch another wave but in the whole, in, in that moment, who makes the best of it? They get the real deal. Uh, same with this person. See, he's the one who's catching the wave still and riding on it. So Cabby, Cabby Lane, and yeah, see, he's still going on it. He got that viral and uh, you know that opening uh, video which got him viral, and he's so consistent even now. He posts almost regularly. And he tries to be uh, unique each time. And I'm sure no other platform apart digital market can get you viral. See, uh, even it may be cabby. Uh, it may be luck with this uh, Kacha Badam person. Someone has shot the video and then it's picked up and shared in small groups. And, you know, from a city from that region, one small group, then one country now. The entire world might be seeing some part of the you know the video and there's another african i guess you would have seen him i don't remember his name so he was doing again reels and you know enacting videos of our bollywood songs and that was um, appreciated by the president of i mean sorry prime minister of india so how you create uh, doesn't matter but what you create and how it's taken forward it becomes viral so, uh, what is a, what, what are the things you think uh, you'll be getting the minute you go viral? Definitely visibility. You'll be getting if if that holds on for some bit and you know you're still able to catch people's attention. Definitely some sponsorship, some money coming through, some opportunities definitely through that. And if by the time if you're someone like Cabby and you're able to you know create content consistently it'll take you i mean a long way ahead so that was one of the few examples i could show you there are many there are many who have done that you have you could have seen uh, uh like i was telling you earlier if you want reviews literally there'll be reviews of everything uh, a very funny example was recently during covid times trust me it was a very simple thing we had this uh the thermometers these laser thermometers we didn't know we there was a manual where you could change to celsius to fahrenheit but we had a confusion we tried what they had given on the manual it was in a written form we couldn't figure it out trust me there was a video to even uh, someone who's already created content for that as well so there's nothing left and uh, every kind of point okay basically anyone comes up with an issue if they are a content, a cre I know content uh, provider, content creator, they'll turn that into a content itself. And here it's matter of consistency, not any video you post that will go viral. Uh, you should, you should have, you know, a, a style of your own, a pattern of it. And that should be done over time. Another great example, I'm sure most of you would be uh, familiar here is this guy, this guy. I'm sure you would have, uh, um, Amelia, if you're familiar, just type yes in the chat section. You watched his videos? If you're Bangalorean, yeah, definitely would have seen him. If you know him or like him, just interact. You know, the only way we can interact is the chat section. Or you can also tell me the ones uh, who have gone viral in the chat section. Just let me know. First, if you've seen him, type yes. 
Food Lovers TV. Am I audible? Is the screen visible? Okay. Someone says no, sir. Yeah. But it's most of you would be familiar. Sir. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you for the information. So this man, uh, who's really good with his English, he has uh, a great vocabulary and also this, the you know, the way to create content. He's going around creating videos for of you know the smallest of food carts to the star hotels and even i think he's now uh, recently tying up with the celebrities and other bloggers again one pattern what you observe here is consistency every sunday he comes up with a video i mean most of them uh, i think there's another fantastic guy his name is ranveer ranveer uh, by the channel name beer biceps so he creates a lot of interviews. So this is content marketing, you know, content uh, creation first and then how you market it. You need to bring it to a platform. So there are many such examples. If you know any, just, uh, uh, you know, leave your opinion and the ones you like in the chat chat box. You are the YouTubers you're following. And if you go international, there's uh, Casey Neistat, there's Mr. Beast, they come up with content who would have not, I mean, none of us would have been thought of, uh, especially when you think of Casey Neistat, he, he brought in this brand called Boosted Board. So uh, believe it or not, people in India were buying it. It didn't make sense for them to use it here. So Casey promoted this brand of electric board called uh, Boosted Board. And he made it such a craze, people in India started buying it. And trust me, they were paying close to a lakh and more for a skateboard. So that's the craze and influence. Okay, these are influencers, social media influencers, and we find them literally everywhere now. They're on Instagram, YouTube. They start by one social media. If they start getting traction, then they make sure to switch over to the other platforms as well. It's also important to be, uh, you know, present in all these uh, social media ha channels, have your website, then if possible and uh, if they can do it, even email marketing would be great. So what are we doing? Uh, why, are, why, are, why are they doing this? Okay, there is a process when you, uh, okay, I'll just bring it there. So this process which you follow and even digital marketing has a process. So that's called digital marketing process. I'm sure you'd be seeing. So some bits were quite familiar when we uh, were discussing regarding marketing yesterday. Okay, if you can take a screenshot or write down this point, however convenient for you, it's very important. It's one of the basic things you should know as we go ahead with the session. Okay, whatever convenient. I'm not gonna ask you to write down everything. If you can take a screenshot, take a screenshot if you're on the phone, okay. So the first point is visibility. So as far as digital marketing is concerned, uh, how can we create visibility? Without digital marketing, how can you create visibility? Without, I mean, even before uh, you know, uh, digital marketing was there, you could have started a, an office, a, a big board in front of your office, then send out uh, flyers, a newspaper ad, all the traditional methods. Now we are in digital marketing. So in this process, how do you create visibility? Can you let me know? Give me your answers in the chat box. Let me see your answers before I continue. How would you create visibility on digital marketing platform? If you start a business tomorrow, what other platforms would you showcase your business on? Instagram, okay, great. Others? Hiring influencers, fantastic, yes. Mama Earth, yeah. Paid advertisement on YouTube, yes. Facebook, yes. Other social medias? I'm sure you'll be using most of them by now. 
yeah twitter okay google you mean google ads yeah also you can mention yeah instagram ads yeah instagram instagram marketing okay anything else apart this i'm sure you'd be using other okay cosmetic ads okay anything else various websites yes fantastic yes that's again through google ads india mart yes nice this is a good answer so that's right so that is one of the directories india mart is one of the local directories yes uh anything else through online shopping websites yes shopping ads yes celebrity influencers yes exactly just dial yes just dial india mart yellow pages suleka these all are local directories yeah you're right google listings fantastic yes as a matter yeah yes you all are right let me just bring up that slide anyone anything else offers on paytm phone pay yes that will come in part of you know engagement and how do you keep your uh, um interactive so once you bring them first part is visible so before you give them offer we should be visible to them correct okay so i'll just put up a slide on the screen just take that out okay if all your answers are there okay just want to try to move this one second i'm sure the screen is visible and no lags okay so visibility first one yeah the screen is visible now yes through mails yes fantastic so we create in visibility through directories so like you mentioned uh, just dial you know yellow pages then uh, india mart suleka all these are listings free listings they are actually subscribe you know uh, it's it's blank okay is it still blank is it visible i can go ahead if it's visible for all of you it is visible now sir okay okay thank you so directories that was free listings so these directories also give you leads if not you can create free listings on them okay once i do google business i'll uh, uh, run you through how it's done very very simple just fill in the fields about your business and also i'll be sharing a link today before we end the class uh, it's a google form everything is there just uh, if you already have a business now or you want to start a business shortly give in those details it's called business avatar so when are you starting a business or running a business these are some uh, you know few fields which i've mentioned there as in uh, if that if you keep that in mind and all these places they have to remain constant so you're not confusing your customers with different information you're providing them how they reach your business so directories i just told you free listings they are actually providing customers with leads so that's a business they're doing on the other side you can also get free listings which like other one person has mentioned here google listings yes they'll come on the listings if you have a free listing of any of these directories then banner ads so basically banner ads are your google you will be doing in terms of google display ads so you can create display ads uh, across various websites you know millions of websites are there which are now what you know tied up or attached with google so on all these i think i was just showing you yesterday on uh, times of india you had banners on the left and right down in the footer also there was uh, some you know to right side in the right column there were display ads so that's again in in terms of display ads and seo so seo is again seo stands for search engine optimization 
how do you rank your website your blogs your content to come on the top of google listings right then your blog so blog then uh, you write content so again it comes under content uh, marketing you come up with very interesting uh, or you should have you should be an sme in that topic such a subject matter expert it can be about designing it can be about food so i was just showing you uh, food lovers tv so he had he has been in this industry i think is uh, previously before he took up uh, youtube i think he was working in the hotel industry so that is connect he has and he's taken it forward so like that if you have an interest you want to take it forward you can start with something as simple as a blog or post consistent you know consistently on insta and all these social media play handles and over time once you get the hang of it and also people start following you it gives you confidence and if you're very consistent definitely uh, and also the topic should be interesting something unique which people have not done before if it adds value yeah any point of time you can uh, go viral or you'll have, at least have a decent following where you know if you can even possible to take it as a career so i don't know if any youtubers are here in this class uh, if you're there you would be knowing to monetize a youtube channel you need 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours so your videos has to be watched for 4000 hours and you should have minimum of 1000 subscribers only then you can monetize start getting some money into your account till then that's the that's the game of you know uh, creating your content and being consistent being creative the same pattern till then only once you pass that stage they'll also recognize okay they have some followers the video has some value and then the monetization starts all right then email see email uh, might be one of the oldest ways of marketing here or digital marketing but it still has value i was just telling you yesterday when you go into crispy cream or any of these uh, fa- you know fast food restaurants uh, the big joints they the minute you make a sale you buy something you get a mail and at times there are uh, you know outlets where they give you points as well so you buy certain uh, if you bill for a certain amount they'll be add, adding up points in your name okay next time you go uh, for a meal or you buy something that adds up either they'll give you a discount on it or you'll be getting something extra when you order, place an order all right so for all that keeping your customer engaged one you can keep them informed you can keep them engaged and also you can retain them so even if it is one of the oldest forms of digital marketing it has one of the best roi roi return on investment so your investment would be low and but the output would be definitely higher than any of the digital marketing platforms so don't uh, you can't neglect it because it's been there for a while and it's an old format it still has value then again social media uh, which we are using in day in and day out so every company is coming up with one or the other types of social media so if you say facebook uh, i don't know however however you famous you are uh, you can have maximum number of uh, friends that would be 5000 so after that they ask you to go uh, you know start a page a business page or a fan page after which you can have millions of likes depending on uh, your caliber and you know the content what you're putting out the same with insta as well you can create a personal account you can have a business account this pattern is seen throughout the social media uh, twitter as well okay and also on all these platforms so i was telling you earlier uh, facebook has around close to okay 2.7 billion active users so when there are so many people out there in that platform is it not a great uh, you know platform to put out the ads uh, generally when you see this fairs and exhibition uh, even in uh, you know towards rural sites when an exhibition or a small fair happens in their village you see all the vendors heading out there okay they would have these street cart you know all these cart vendors they all gather at one place and try doing the best business possible the same way you see on a larger picture where 
these networking sites, these social media networking sites have millions and billions of users. So all, when there are people, definitely business, uh, you know, these business businesses will make use of them, correct? To show off their product and service. They couldn't be a better platform. If you are not there, definitely your competitors will be displaying and engaging the customers. So it's very important to have a social media handle of the business. Then uh, Google PPC or paper clicks. These are basically Google search network ads what they're talking about the minute uh, I was telling you earlier whenever we have a doubt or we want to look up something on Google. I mean we want to look up and know something the first thing we go to is Google and tomorrow uh, your friend tells you some restaurant or cafe to meet at would you be going to their website or would you be checking on Google or Google Maps? I'm sure most of you will be searching on Google Maps rather than finding the website of it. So any kind of search we usually prefer Google and this is the first process of visibility. So we need to get into the market show ourselves. We provide like I was telling you yesterday visibility credibility and profitability. So the minute you start showing up say you you have this business and you can um, you know give it out give give these product and services to people they'll uh, they'll know there's a business or a company or or an individual who can uh, who they can get this service and products from if you don't show up the the whole digital marketing or the marketing process doesn't start so the first point is visibility next bringing target targeted traffic is, is the screen visible yeah so the second topic is bringing in target uh, traffic so you created visibility on all these platforms people are viewing your content it can be a YouTube channel it can be a Facebook page an Insta or a website you, you're creating wonderful uh, content but there should be an intention out of it correct we are finally our intention here is to get some sales you no know, market so for which once you uh, get, gain the attention of your prospects or your audiences you need to take them uh, from that place to another point point a to point b so that can be your landing page that can be your website or any anywhere you're turning that into sales next engagement so not just bringing them there once you do that you need to keep them informed okay someone says it's blank for me is it still blank please check with your network once i think for me the screen is being shown the slide has been visible okay many say no it's visible just two of you are having the issue please reconnect yeah they say it's visible all right the third point is engagement how do you engage the crowd who's coming into your website your uh, your landing page again you need to reach out to them give them information you need to um, if possible you know uh, uh, tell them about the discounts you can offer um, basically you should be also informing about uh, your, your USP why should they choose you over others so this is a point where you have gained their attention and they've come into you the ball is in your court right now okay you should show the highlights of your business and what is the value they'll be get, getting choosing your business over others so I'm just giving you all these points just in case you're starting another uh, your own business tomorrow you should be seeing on these terms on these lines okay you need to keep them engaged so it's not just you here okay think if you are a company uh, you own you own you uh, you know you own a company and you have hired employees even for a business owner they should keep this in mind first create visibility where your company is uh, is being seen by people around and once they come into your office uh, that's the second step you know they come into your office or reach out to you through the website you keep them engaged 
okay like giving them information answering their queries only once their queries and doubts are uh, cleared and they're satisfied that's when the next step kicks in you know the, the conversion part so negotiations the commercials all this will come into picture only once you keep them engaged a customer is not informed while i you know either take the pro, you know the product and service on suspicion or he wouldn't be even if he purchases it for the first time or visits the uh, you know the restaurant or any of these um what can you say any of these service providers for the first time they're not likely to come back again if that is the scenario you will be having you know you would be something like a business who is next to a railway station or an airport basically at that point of time they make use of the service and it's gone but we shouldn't think in that way we should have a loyal uh, you know a good loyalty customers who keep coming back to us so we should give good value and service if that is your motive definitely you should provide um, good value for them so it's a continuous process so i was telling you yesterday uh, it starts with them being a stranger from a stranger they can be an audience they'll get to know about you uh, you know think about the business consider i was telling you on facebook they have it i'll just uh, show you again when we start facebook it is awareness consideration and awareness so they have you know they they've got to know about you that's the awareness stage and then now they come into the establishment which you created so that is consideration now uh, if you want to have the conversion definitely you should give a good value of uh, products and service to them okay so that's where negotiations and the point of sale starts once that is done see um measurement can be any point of time which it need not be five it can come any point of time like once you start the process as well uh, i'm i'm telling in terms of digital marketing so once the you created a campaign itself you'll be getting to know how many people it has reached so basically when you create uh if you have a business page if you a uh, fan page or business page on facebook and you've already done it or even your own personal profile on facebook the minute you post it maximum number of people it is uh, you know according stats 10 to 15% of your own circle is uh, can be seeing that post not the entire if you have around uh, you know huge uh, group of friends just 10 to 15% of it is how does it get shown to others in the, your own circle it is through engagement so facebook has this algorithm called as edge ranking okay edge ranking edg edge ranking so through which uh, how it basically works is how many likes has that content got how many likes has that uh, post received uh, shares comments so no wonder you will be you uh, know seeing all these youtubers always asking for it like share and subscribe so more people try uh, you know engaging in that post the higher it gets uh, shown so again here being shown it's called in, in this term it's called as impression i guess uh, we again will be going through when you're doing google ads basically display ads so any point of time so uh, earlier when I, mean, i showed you times of india there there were some display ads being shown okay so how many people get to see that or for how many people that is shown that display ad is shown or even it can be an ad you create on facebook so how many people get to see that your charge based on that so that is impressions okay so measurement getting back to the point measurement can be any point of time in this marketing but only once the process starts from visibility till retention finally yeah the last point retention so you did the whole uh, process like get you know uh, being visible to all your audiences turning them into customers making in uh, making that into sales keeping them engaged finally if you don't retain them what basically happens is you need to start the step all over okay consider and also uh, understand uh, every step visibility to create visibility you shall be spending okay you yourself gave me the answers in the chat box like you'll run ads create websites 
to do all this you need to spend some money right the same way to bring them into your uh, website to you know to make you call you know make them to call you or you reaching out to them by collecting their details so every step involves money effort and time so each step adds up to be the entire complete process of digital marketing so any point or anywhere any uh, you know part of this process is not done right the whole process collapses so same with retention again very important point where the minute you start retaining your customers or your existing customers you don't have to go all the way to visibility again because they already will be familiar about your product and service and engagement is essential yeah so you go into step 3 or step 4 so that cycle carries forward you don't have to you know start all over from the beginning okay so this is this is marketing process in a nutshell i'll just be showing you other uh, slides as well are we clear so far if you all okay i'll go ahead just let me know any doubts any, any point here you want me to uh excuse me sir for yes. i was actually not able to understand conversion and me- measurements properly so if it's possible okay. can you please repeat that sure sure i'll do that i'll do that see conversion is a process <laughs> where uh, where your prospects turn into your customers okay so for example you're creating a landing page or a website okay let's take landing page so you created a wonderful content on uh any of the social media sites say pinterest or uh youtube itself or anywhere even a google ad you created a wonderful uh, google ad a uh, display ad the search network ad whatever from there you have taken your customers towards your landing page correct so that is even in that point that prospects who might have a requirement of your business or of your product or service conversion is a place where you turn them you turn the uh, you know audiences into customers and very vital for this would be your landing page correct i'll just show you and if you can tell me also it will be great if you generally see i'll just bring up a browser one minute so this is my website my company website and i'll just open another landing page okay excuse me sir no i'll come i'll come one second there might be slight lag i'll open it excuse me sir yeah please tell me sir what is the time timing of the class sir is it 7:30 uh i was informed today it's going to be from 6:30 to 8 we'll try winding up a little all if possible but yeah it's going to be from 6:30 to 8 so that was a change of timings it's from today i will share the recording in whatsapp sir my phone is about 2% now there's no power here that you really prepared madam anyway just uh, that you need to be prepared anyway because the duration uh, you know has been informed to you earlier i guess anyway just be prepared for the next class or you can uh, grab a charger if you have it somewhere close by okay uh, is the screen visible now yes sir yes sir okay. okay so here what you saying is the web landing page i just have to move the chat around okay so you would have created a good ad or any kind of uh, social media post okay and the l- link which you would have given there would be this so you will be bringing them here and what is the difference of you bringing them here is only thing uh, only option see first of all from the previous uh, content this should be again matching with that what content you had posted earlier the landing page 
should align with that you know it should have some synchronization should be the same topic and uh, if you created a fantastic uh, you know post and they come here and doesn't make sense they'll be confused the minute they see that they're gone so a general stat is on on the internet people have around 10 to 15 seconds maximum average you know attention span if you don't grab in that uh, moment that's small uh, window of time you'll not be able to get the attention so i just wanted to show you this here see this there is a little description about the product here and finally the trial so even if i click on this i'll have to give in my email address or the one in footer all right see the same here as well i hope there's no lag see here the intention is clear your details will be sent across to the company and they'll follow up for the sale to happen the same thing if i uh, bring them to a website i have more option here and a lot more distraction for the customer or the audience to turn into a customer there's a lot more inf information that's good but when you're planning to you know uh, convert into a sale right away a landing page will do a better job there. see here there's so much more options here in shopify if your intention is to convert them there and then a landing page would be uh, do the job or if you're in an awareness page where you're okay for the customer you know, the audience is to come into your website uh, get to know what you what products and services you're giving out yeah well, a website should be do justice as well okay this is the part of conversion where uh, you would have created a post in any of the social media or a youtube video or any kind of uh, instagram or pinterest twitter your action there is to bring them into your website as far as digital marketing concern or if you're doing a traditional market you're uh, making them reach out to you in terms of call i mean even, even still now we uh, you know get back to people through call and when you create a campaign as well you can uh, have a goal as the audience is giving a call to you so that's not outdated yet or the traditional marketing so yeah they coming out to your office inquiring at your friend desk at your reception and getting the sale done you can converting it there but on this marketing you would be doing it on a website or a landing page any of these are we clear with the conversion there yes sir okay A measurement okay see measurement again uh, it's about how uh, when you run a campaign on this marketing uh, it can be your google ads or a facebook ad how many people it has reached to right and what gender of people in which region of the country or the geographical location what time have they seen your ad and what age group all these details you get through analytics and insights so every media medium will have this which can give you information instantly once you start running the ad the ad campaign okay the campaign so this is where i mentioned earlier as well the definition okay any marketing that uses electronic devices to convey promotional messages and measure its impact so this is one of the uh major points of digital, mar digital marketing process so you can measure the impacts and this is also what creates a major difference between traditional marketing and digital marketing you'll be you know you'll have a technical know-how where it's working out for you it's not always a trial and error okay shall i go ahead are we clear with those points yes sir thank you sir yeah sure anytime so next would be types or channels of digital marketing is the screen visible one minute let me check yeah 
so channels or types of digital marketing so we have search engine optimization we have search engine marketing sem seo is search engine optimization sem is search engine marketing then email marketing affiliate marketing social media marketing content marketing and i see that's the the king and your you know bread earning uh, ways of marketing if you want to get into digital marketing your content marketing has to be really strong so you fill in rest of the uh, channels so only once you have a great content you can you know create uh, bring in traffic into rest of the channels so that's my high uh, that's the highlight point i would say here content marketing and mobile marketing so just because of the convenience uh, and the tech technology we have today everyone has uh, gone mobile in terms of technology and uh, yeah so even slowly i'm sure you would be observing as well every website is turning into an application so the platform is basically changing and adapting accordingly so search engine optimization uh, you know optimization so basically this is the organic form uh, form of bringing your content on top of a google listing how can you do there are a lot of ways you can have it through okay let's just have a look at it and uh, you also need to know this is an organic process anything organic will not happen right away correct something article something paid that can instantly give you results but when you're working on an organic platform it'll take a long time so let me take a very common product which is taken for everyone who show examples laptop okay the minute i search for laptop the first thing you're seeing on the top are the shopping ads okay this is shopping ads so all these vendors or the com brands have uh, are creating the first line of ads these are shopping ads and then you have a search network ad the one here which starts with ad i'll just highlight it for you yeah so this is search network ad and next you'll find the first next topic which will be covering after uh, the session it's uh, google business before it was called as google places and then google my business now they're calling it, they've rebranded as google business so here you'll be seeing all the, this is also called as local seo local search engine optimization so basically all the stores around me uh, i'll be getting their details and there's also marketing in this let me just show you when i go into view all the first option there says an ad you see ad written there so again this is through search engine marketing so that's the difference the this uh, you know when you go into a temple or uh, you can say uh, any of these even amusement parks you have this you know the fast way to get inside the temple or the fast way to get into the rides you don't like to wait then you your way would be search engine marketing but on a long run and you want to have a very genuine content and something long standing which will be there even after you're gone or your business doesn't exist uh, seo so content which uh, go on for a long time and people uh, have more trust in would be definitely uh, it's not that they don't trust sem but seo is an ongoing process so if you start working now and creating content over time it's going to build it's not instant all right and how do you get yourself listed uh, how do you make it to the top of the list so that is where you work on seo search engine optimize optimization so you, you optimize your website your your blogs in such a way you rank on the top basically you get your ranking to the top yeah you see here you have amazon so definitely there's such a big company they would be hiring uh lots of digital marketing people will be doing that for them i think followed by you should be having flip card yeah see here quite obvious they always in the battle flip card and amazon how do they rank on the top and then you will see others 
Reliance Digital. So these these are basically websites who are uh, putting themselves on the search engine result page SERP search and result page through their uh, efforts and their website and the content they're putting out. And then again, you'll follow uh, that will follow through ads here again. You see Tata Click, Smart Bricks, Amazon. So when you see a search engine uh, result page, it's a mix collection of all this. You have shopping ads, you have search network ads, then you have Google uh, Business and some websites. We'll be, uh, you know, going going through a lot of these examples uh, in the further classes as well. But just have a look at this. This is the next topic. I'm sure you would have seen this earlier. Or anyone at home has a business you would have created this as well for them. Basically, this is how you get your business on the map. Okay, then you have email marketing. I just uh, okay, then you have search engine marketing. So search engine marketing, you have Google Ads. So there uh, in Google platform, you can create search network ads, which I just showed you now. So the minute I searched laptop, you saw that uh, the one which I highlighted here. So this one, the Dell. So this is a search network. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll just highlight just that. Okay, the Dell. So that is a search network ad. And then you see this shopping ad. And if you go into any of these, any of the websites where people generally, uh, you know, move, uh, the traffic is uh, present, you will be seeing display ads. And finally, if you have, see the minute, minute I had, I said finally, there's Jugnu here. So if you're not using a premium account, you will be seeing ads in the middle of the video. So that's again your video ads or YouTube ads which can be done through search engine marketing. So this is a paid form. You need to, uh, so this is not organic. So that's why another word would be a paid format of placing your ads in the search engines or all the other platforms through paid. Then you have email marketing. I just uh, spoke to you about it earlier. That is one of the oldest ways and uh, which has also has a good ROI. Then you have affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing, I think I have a slide for that. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah. Okay, so this is basically how an affiliate market works. Okay, it's you. You think you're an affiliate uh, and you would have an expertise in some, you know, some certain topics like be it cooking or photography or um, interior designing, whatever you might be having an expertise on which you would have created a wonderful uh, uh, blog. Okay, any kind of content, content marketing, any kind of wonderful content you would have provided. And finally, out of which there'll be certain uh, requirements or products you would have used in that. And that you'll be influencing your, see this is not uh, influencer marketing, this is affiliate. I'm just getting to the topic where you would have used or recommending those products. Okay, those products would already exist on Amazon. They, it would exist on Flipkart. But through your influence and reference, the customer is likely to purchase it more because they would have understood the concept and they would be uh, very influenced by your uh, expertise on that topic. So when they buy that product or service, see there's uh, there's this diagram here. User visits uh, visits a uh, affiliate website or blog. User click clicks on the affiliate link on affiliate website. Okay, that's your website or blog. And from there, cookies get stored in the user's browser, which goes uh, into the merchant's website. It can be an Amazon or Flipkart or Lenskart, any of these sites. So through the link, 
which is given by the merchant with the link which is given by uh, Amazon and uh, Flipkart to you and you would have posted that link in your uh, website so through that link when they click some cookies are stored in that okay the cookies get stored and from that they visit the merchant site and if the user if the user buys the product or service there the and the cookies are matched then affiliate software adds the record of sale to particular affiliates account so imagine like you there'll be millions of affiliates who are making money out of this basically you're getting commission out of it at the end of the payment payment period affiliate gets his share of revenue from sales okay so you have these affiliate programs on all the uh, merchant kind of e-commerce stores so they'll be giving out these links through which you can create i mean you can you can do affiliate marketing okay then you have social media marketing i'm sure you would have uh, you would be very familiar with this see even now if you observe go to your uh, i'm sure after this you would be using facebook or instagram when you do that just notice this because you attended class today and if you're you're here and listening to this uh, as you're scrolling through all the news feeds your friends and groups or whatever you like and uh, you're following right now just stop for a minute or a second notice that ad what is shown there you'll be seeing sponsored promoted you know just observe that and observe the pattern of it so that's going to be a topic we'll be covering in later stages so when you when you that's a small assignment or homework for you just go through that observe what is the pattern and how are they doing that so it should not be something of a task you will definitely be going through um, your instagram and facebook today just have a look at that and think back on this so that is social media marketing for you you can you can run uh, see you can create an organic post which will be doing it if we go somewhere any interesting places say you're traveling somewhere you will be posting of, of the images and videos at some point of time tagging your friends and whatnot that is the organic method of posting and which will be doing it but i told you earlier it's going to be shown to like 10 to 15 percent of your circle you want to reach out to more and outside your uh, circle you definitely have to go to into the paid format where you'll be running campaigns and spending a bit of money so that gives you more reach and uh, down the line definitely conversions okay that can be done on all the social media platforms and i'll be showing you ad creation on all the social media platforms which we will be covering henceforth next you have content marketing so i told you this is key if you have a fantastic method of creating uh, content you're going to survive and be be here for a longer time on digital marketing so see if you're great in graphic designing or if you have a great skill in content writing copywriting so again if you see what is content can anyone tell me what's content writing and copywriting the difference in your own words it doesn't have to be you have given a topic and you have to create you have to um get information based on that and create content that's mm -hmm. interesting that people can that people are intrigued by that captures their attention and that gives yeah. the map information within a word limit exactly you use the word intrigued correct intrigued or uh, you know uh, give them food for their thoughts or provoking their uh, thought process so content is just uh, writing given on given a topic you, you go on creating content that's one thing copywriting is a skill where uh, you have limited set at least in digital marketing you will have limited set of words and uh, like she said intriguing you uh, make them wonder about a topic or so and convert your audiences into customers so that skill if you have definitely trust me you can go into digital marketing and take it as a career and down the time down the line you'll definitely do it will do really well because even if you see in a digital marketing company today you'll be having graphic designers you'll have content writers uh, also these marketing people who can pitch in well you know speak about product and service to people 
all these skills together make a great digital marketing company so if you have any of these skills you can take it you know as a profession down the line or any any point of time digital marketing is a skill no matter what line of work you get into it will help you sell and selling is the only way a company will survive okay so content marketing is one of the best ways and some of the content marketing you can say i was telling you about ranveer who has his beers and uh, beer and biceps channel on he has a podcast he has a, he started a, started with podcast and today he even has uh, a very good youtube channel where he is basically interviewing all the great personalities who have you know achieved uh, really good for you know in their own uh, line of work so he does a very in depth uh, studied inter- interviews where he goes point by point so th- that's what his pattern his format and uh, his consistency so that ha- that that has brought him the success uh, which he has gained at a very young age you can uh, end of the session you can check it out i think it's called beer beer and biceps let me see if i can bring that up he's a pretty young guy but really good content i'm sure most of you would have seen his name is ranveer i'm sorry yeah this guy beer biceps all the celebrities and even the you know the spiritual people so content you watch can entertain you or it can upgrade you as a person in the reality show in their smartest thoughts what do you think okay so all the celebrities and uh, some big industrialists entrepreneurs and pretty young age i think it should be around uh in his late 20s or early 30s he creates wonderful content so he he uh, you know made a path for himself through podcast now youtube so that that is content you know wonderful content can take your head or i was just telling you about kripal amana uh, food lovers tv so he also has content which comes out very consistently and has his own unique approach there were many food bloggers who were putting out the contents out there but he brought in that local touch along with his vocabulary and his english skills and how he describes food you might have been there earlier but when you see his video you still feel like you know you are experiencing it on first hand or they say pov you know, we know the point of view so he's he's done a fantastic job there so content marketing will take you a long way ahead podcast webinars you can have uh, youtube uh, or any kind of video formats blogs websites all this this is basically you know or not website blogs so these formats it can be a social media post your tweets again that goes on your content writing and copywriting skills so your publishing skills all this will add up and if you have content marketing if you're good at content marketing the all the other channels will follow through finally mobile marketing um uh, again i told you earlier it's part of convenience there is a stat uh, which i'll be showing you when you start google business where uh, the sales are likely to happen more when people are viewing about the business on a phone than a desktop or a tablet not even a tablet okay so there won't be much difference between a phone and a tablet but still the stat says there is a 50% likely uh, conversion when a person searches for the business on google uh, than 30% when they are looking out for it on a desktop see one be having a mobile you will be uh, easily or one one reason would be you would already be outside your your uh, house or your your work and you would be able to reach out directly but when you are on a you know pc or a desktop you're still thinking about it so when we go into google business i'll just show you a slide on that okay i'll quickly go through these topics but any any uh, doubts you have in types of digital marketing or channels of digital marketing c 
see a uh, process of digital marketing types of digital marketing is very important at least uh, to go ahead and uh, you should know the basics of this are we clear here just let me know if you all let me know i'll go to the next topic and try covering it as soon as possible uh, so what what yes sir. so what is the main difference between seo and sen sir okay uh it would be i i was telling you earlier seo would be the organic uh format where you'll not be uh spending much of money but you will be spending more of your uh your knowledge and some efforts to keep it going on a long run so i told you seo seo is a ongoing process where if you have a website today how do you uh, you know make your content relevant for uh, today's content and what's trending so if you have post on your website your keyword you know your title your headline i mean your website will have that so there how do you keep it optimized in such a way okay if i open a website uh, i don't know how much of you are aware about websites uh, 10 12 years you know before where your internet is pretty good but the website will not be loading the images okay so the website speed basically it's the user experience where you have a very good user experience i mean to uh, on a website where you have a very good user experience and uh, good links you know many uh, other websites um, having links to your your website and all this adds up the value and creates it takes up the ranking of your website to the top and how do you rank yourself on top is basically seo so these efforts so you can't bring your website to the top of the google listing at once it's an ongoing process so that is that's the reason i said it's an organic method where there's no money involved it's a matter of effort uh, matter of effort some techniques and uh it'll take some time so search engine marketing is where it's a paid format so i'll run a campaign i'll invest i'll have certain budget and i'll i'll have bidding so say i'll be spending 200 rupees per day for a for a, a facebook ad and i'll be running it for certain period of time that is the uh, and at some schedule i'll be scheduling that say from morning 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock people who will be using facebook at that point of time they'll be able to see the ad but when i post generally something or if i do an organic post it will be there all the time and people who follow that page or people who like uh, the content you are putting out only they'll be seeing but an ad will go out to every one you would have targeted in that campaign okay so that is a paid format in the social media but when it comes to search engine marketing i was just explaining you about uh, the google ads search network ads display ads shopping ads so when you basically search on google i i showed you the first thing which was showing there were the shopping ads okay the minute i typed laptop there so those brands there was chroma and okay let me take you there again okay so this is a home page of the search engine and i was telling you earlier as well this is a query box where we'll be typing okay so and whatever you seeing down you know the minute i uh, clicked on the query box this is called the google suggest i mean this this will come in uh, once i type see if i say laptop type laptop yeah so you can say i mean we'll be making use of this further this is the google suggest so what people are generally looking out when someone is searching for laptop generally you know laptop price price bangalore price mysore okay i'll just enter so this is search engine marketing you see ad written on this here so this is a paid format or you can say inorganic where you're spending in money and 
placing yourself on top of the other other websites who are not running an ad amazon amazon is not running an ad here just follow the cursor yeah but here dell is running an ad okay so this is a search network ad and this is a shopping ad so through paid format you're placing yourself on top of the google listing okay you're ranking yourself and you're not ranking that you're placing yourself because this is through paid format you can see ranking when you do seo but here it's a paid format based on your budget how much you're willing to spend and what you would have bid this is all basically auction based so who would be bidding higher and have a very relevant content and a good uh, user experience all that considered together they'll be placed on the top so this is the inorganic format but for a website to come up on the top it would have been an effort and it's an ongoing process for themselves to keep on top of the listing so that's the difference thank you so much sir okay i'll see how much of this is possible um we'll try winding up as soon as possible I'll just uh, go through this okay and i'm also sure you're very clear by now with the examples which i had given earlier and also just observe the images at the back i'll make this full screen okay digital marketing and traditional marketing some differences okay to the right you have digital marketing we'll start with this uh digital marketing so digital marketing definitely has maximum reach when compared to traditional marketing okay so if i run an ad regarding i was giving an example of bmw yesterday a bmw car i would have a maximum reach in the sense i would have a better chance of reaching out to people who would be interested to buy that car than when i do a traditional marketing this would be mostly uh, on on a mass or a higher reach base but not conversion would be limited so if i have maximum reach similarly when you think of a sales funnel the maximum inquiries you have the better conversions or sales you will have more inquiries more sales quality i mean you should also have quality inquiries as well and then next one versatile and non versatile so if you think about digital marketing uh, it's a very versatile uh, you can say something something adjustable or flexible okay this is a very flexible format of uh, running campaigns or putting yourself brand out your brand out to people say if you have a facebook business page and you put a post out there there you're sure to get comments you know comments from customers uh, giving their feedback positive negative it can be anything by which you can you know implement the changes the next time you coming out with a product or service or find out what uh basically your customers are looking out for even through measurements which i told you analytics and insights all these tools help you to be more versatile and any point of time uh, you put out a post and if people feel offensive of it and it's not going well with the public you can stop the campaign stop the ad or delete the post you have that option but once you send out uh an ad on a newspaper it's going to reach and if by any chance something is not uh, not, go, not going well with the majority of people it creates chaos i think it would have happened earlier as well due to some subscriptions there would be some backlash on that topic so traditional marketing is not excuse me sir sir i have a doubt regarding this uh, thing uh, sir the recent ad of tanisk was a part of traditional marketing it was like broadcasted through the indian media but it got correct, backlash correct. Uh, digitally so was correct. it a part of traditional is... marketing or digital marketing because of digital backlash it was the campaign was taken back so 
ஒரு <laughs> uh say that was not the motive and intention but the same uh, see it will co- carry forward to the next point actually the backlash can ha- happen both on uh, traditional marketing and digital marketing okay it's possible on both platforms but how do you you know curb that or how do you uh, you know take it around what are the solutions that can be faster on a digital marketing before it goes to another level okay you can address the issue right away so that versatility is possible on digital marketing even if something goes wrong is that okay yes sir okay so next point again i'll carry forward there so instant communication so it's so versatile i can communicate instantly and it is two way communication here a communication by the business and a response by the customer as well but on a traditional marketing say tv or radio or uh, you know or publication there is the communication is possible two way but again that's delayed not as instant as uh, you would be seeing it on digital marketing okay so that's one point there and at times in traditional marketing it may be i'm not saying uh, it is at times i mean people can write back to you and so that's that's delayed already when they're writing back to you the post reaches you so that's a delayed format but the the minute someone uh, you put out a post or any content one they click on that and they reach out to you directly the landing page and the website which i was telling you about instantly in a fraction of seconds or you put out a post you're a big company you have a you know a page say uh, you're a big brand like mahindra or maruti suzuki you're coming up with a car people who like it will comment positively people who don't like the product again they'll get back to you so you'll be getting your uh, reactions opinions right away here so in digital marketing it's instant communication and it's also a two way communication but when you see uh, traditional marketing it, it's a delayed format delayed communication and at times it can be one way communication as well next uh, value for money so i explained this uh, point earlier you can run ad on this marketing half you know much less price as you would be uh, doing that on traditional uh, mode of marketing yet be able to get the same number of reach so that is the point where you can get value for money on the or you can say return on investment is higher in this marketing so on on the contrary you'll be seeing traditional marketing is definitely more expensive to run an ad on newspaper i'm sure it would be costing uh, close to a few lakhs yeah even to run an ad on uh, on a prime time of any television uh they have they're running a serial or a, a, you know a great show which is coming up at that point of time you where there is a lot of trp you want to run your television ads that's going to be very expensive but the same thing when uh, there is a lot of traffic that point of time people are going to that website or viewing that channel to run a digital marketing ad is going to be much cheaper and uh, a better way to reach audiences see i'm not keeping aside 
traditional marketing it is necessary even in our business we follow both patterns i'm just telling you some points and how digital marketing is many folds ahead so if a business uh, runs both traditional marketing and digital marketing they they will sure have their advantages but it's also important to jump into digital marketing and accelerate their sales and generate leads all right next point easy to reach target audience yes when you have maximum reach you'll be getting more target audience than just reaching out to uh, just audiences you'll be reaching out to your prospects who will turn into customers slightly difficult to reach out to your target audiences because um, this is again you know uh, they might not be at that point of time when this mode of communication or this mode of marketing reaches them there are chances of being missed but here show shot better options and better chances are, are there when you do it through digital marketing and the last point easy to measure so i was telling you about analytics insight so minute you start running your campaign through just by the visibility process you'll be getting to know how many people it has reached and uh, which geographical location is viewing it what age group gender so you have an easy measurement possible here and also with that next time you can optimize your campaign so first time you run a campaign you didn't do um, that well and you want to take it to another level next time reach more people get better leads and conversions you can always optimize better uh, see there is again uh, on traditional marketing you can uh, get the measurements again it's delayed here and not that kind of uh, measurements are possible you don't have the statistic and tools so the minute i uh, you know we start google business will just get you know sneak peek of what this uh, analytics and insights are okay so each one of you i'll just be sharing a link in the group today it's called business avatar okay is this slide clear any doubts here No, okay others just let me know in the chat section if you're still there we'll be continuing tomorrow if you're all cool we'll go ahead with other points tomorrow understood so far okay someone has a good emoji either you are ready to leave or you're happy with the session either of it okay sure okay just want to know if you all are still here or uh, you left already just comment comment in the section in the chat section so i'll just know how many of you are here and how many have just left the screen on and gone elsewhere yesterday that was funny i just don't want to mention the names like even after the session was done i could find uh, you know a couple of people uh, still being present i got to know they were not aware the session was ended so yeah they left the screen on and they were elsewhere i'll not be revealing the names but just uh, know we have other people watching uh, what's exactly happening here so be present as much as possible okay so it's not about the attendance it's about, it's about a few things you learn it's not even the exam which will come through it's about uh, if you can learn a thing or two which will be helpful for both of us all right okay i've got just a couple out of 40 some have responded okay shall we end the session okay great now they're doing it and i say end the session everyone is saying yes okay thank you everyone i'll just share a link it's about uh, it's a google form just take time and respond whenever possible before the session tomorrow okay thank you so much everyone see you tomorrow